Hello guys, my name is Eric. I'm a co-instructor at PLP and I'm just going to introduce you guys to Dart. Um, just really briefly talk about a couple of things that I feel are very important. So yeah, let's get straight to it. Uh, what is Dart and what is Flutter? That's a question that many people have had. So Dart essentially is a programming language, just like you've got your Python, you've got your JavaScript, uh, you've got your HTML, although, although there's a debate in programming and software engineering circles that HTML may or may not be uh, a programming la language, but yeah, you can think of Dart as something, as a, as a programming language. Think, ab think about it the way you think about your, your Pythons and your JavaScripts and your CSSs. And what is Flutter? Flutter is a framework that allows people to easily build user inter interfaces. So if you look at this, whatever we're looking at here, um, this is an interface. This is what we interact with um, when we're using mobile applications or desktop applications like we're doing right now. If you look at your phone, open WhatsApp, any other application, first thing you look at is the UI, the user interface. So you have Flutter allows you to build user interfaces really clean really sleek user interfaces with uh, dart uh, to build cross-platform mobile apps so that's for your ios and that's for your android um, so yeah dart is a client optimized language for developing fast apps and it's owned by google so that's really encouraging that just tells us because uh, because because uh, these programming languages are constantly changing, they're constantly evolving. Uh, it's really really important, and it's it's amazing that Google own it. So it's gonna be here for a while. So there'll be in the coming year, in the coming months and years, there'll be a, a lot of jobs um, for people who are proficient with Dart and Flutter. Um, so yeah, Dart is great for building UIs and yeah, so how do we get started with Dart? Dart, uh, the first place, if like the f one of the first places that people usually interact with Dart is on Dartpad. I'm sure you guys might have heard of it uh, throughout the lessons, during the lessons. Um, so yeah, you can literally just write your Dart codes. Right here in the browser, you've got your uh, SDK already installed. So anything thing about Dart is it runs whatever is within the main function. Don't want to confuse you guys, but yeah, this is a function, main function. Uh, any Anything that you basically see that has these parentheses, uh, that's just like the syntax for writing down a function. And you put you write down your codes for a function within these these parentheses uh not within these parentheses but within these curly curly brackets so anything we run uh in in dart whatever is within the main function is what we run so yeah if we run this we'll get the result so hello five times or we could just even write a simple function <coughs> just to print hello Yeah, it should run. Perfect. So yeah, you can write your Dart codes over here, but because we are professional developers, like we're going from zero to 100, like real quick in these 16 weeks. So uh, we, we would write, uh, we would have to download the Dart SDK, which just basically allows um, us as software engineers and software developers to write down our code within your within your within your computer within your machine so i'll drop you guys a really great resource our friend laxon montali he's got a i hope i didn't butcher your name <laughs> but yeah he's got a youtube channel and he's he's careful he's really really explained to us really well how to get started with the, all of these ads how to get started with the dart sdk so yeah um is it this one okay no no, no i 
it's not this one it's not this one it's this one so yeah yeah so check out this video really really amazing stuff Laxon will obviously drop the link to this video so you can watch it in your free time and yeah as i finish as i conclude i just like to show you an example a few examples of apps that have been developed using dart and flutter that are actually on the place so that you can download just to show you guys how powerful this language is how widely used it is uh, not just obviously in africa but throughout the world like you can see for example bmw who doesn't know bmw who doesn't want to drive a bmw or who yeah yeah bmw actually use have used dart and flutter to create their apps so that's really really amazing just goes to show how um popular it is and it's only gaining popularity it's gonna get more and more popular this is another app um that i'm sure you guys have heard of i'm sure you've heard of ebay so ebay motors um yeah you can it says it's a it's one of the world's widest selections of vehicle parts and accessories is available in the ebay motors app so yeah amazing stuff you can just go through the ui right here and even go ahead and download these apps just so that we can you can see what you can actually do with 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 this uh with this programming language and with this framework with dot and flutter we've also got this one travel start i'm sure the guys in south africa have probably heard of travel start um yeah it's a platform where people can book flights so yeah it's really amazing clean clean ui uh easy to use you can use it on ios uh android with one code base so yeah, really looking forward to the weeks we have together um, up until about February. Uh, yeah, so I really wish you guys the best. Um, we are here to help you and just feel free anytime you've got any challenge, you want a concept to be um, explained a bit more clearly, feel free to reach out to us. Thank you so much.